Hi, I'm Catherine Ferguson and I'm a fertility nurse. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare and administer your Overleap injection. The injection comes as two parts, the medication which should be stored in the fridge and the plastic pen which can be stored anywhere. Start by assembling the equipment. You will need the pen device and from the medication box a vial of medication and one needle tip. Remove the green cap from the pen device and unscrew the empty chamber. Place the vial of medication with the colour cap facing downwards into the end of the chamber. Take the other piece of the pen device and twist the black end in the opposite direction of the arrows until it can't twist anymore. You will notice the plunger is fully extended. Insert the plunger into the end of the cartridge, slowly push together and screw to form a tight seal. Take the needle, remove the seal and screw onto the applicator, then remove the outer and inner plastic caps. The first thing we need to do is prime the needle to get rid of any excess air. This only needs to be done each time a new medication vial is used. To do this, turn the dosing dial by two clicks. Hold the pen with the needle pointing upwards and slide the injection button in the direction of the needle. A drop will form at the tip of the needle. Now we need to set the dose. Twist the green top of the pen whilst looking at the display of the dosing window to ensure you set the dial to the dose you've been prescribed. Don't worry if you move the dial too far, you can press the top of the pen to reset the dose. I'm demonstrating 150 units. Administering the injection. Overleap is a subcutaneous injection and is best administered into your abdomen. Locate the area to inject by placing three fingers below your belly button and pinching the skin in this area. Insert the needle at 90 degrees, push the injection button in the direction of the needle and hold it. Press down until the indicator dose is zero. Hold for a few seconds to allow for absorption. Then you can remove the needle and a small drop of fluid or blood is nothing to worry about. Disposing the needle. Recover the needle with a larger cap and unscrew it to dispose of it safely, preferably in a sharp spin. Put the green lid back on the pen as it now contains the medication and must be stored in the fridge. And that's it. Hi, I'm Catherine Ferguson and I'm a fertility nurse. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare and administer your follow-up overleap injection. If you're watching this, you should have already assembled and primed your pen and given your first dose. If not, please watch our video. Start by assembling the equipment. For you, you will need the pen device, which has already been stored in the fridge, as by this stage it should contain the medication and a needle which is in the medication box. Remove the green cap from the pen device. Take the needle, remove the seal and screw onto the pen. Then remove the outer and inner plastic caps. Now we need to set the dose. Twist the green top of the pen whilst looking at the display of the dosing window to ensure that you set the dial to the dose you've been prescribed. Don't worry if you move the dial too far, you can press the top of the pen to reset the dose. I'm demonstrating 150 units. Once at your correct dose, the pen is ready for use. Overleap is a subcutaneous injection and is best administered into your abdomen. Locate the area to inject by placing three fingers below your belly button and pinching the skin in this area. Insert the needle at 90 degrees, push the injection button in the direction of the needle and hold it. Press down until the indicator dose is on zero. As this is a reusable pen with multi-dose medication, if there is insufficient medication left, the pen will not allow you to administer a full dose and will show you the amount of the dose outstanding 
and how much to give with the next vial. Remember, you will need to insert a new vial and prime the needle again. Hold for a few seconds to allow for absorption and you can then remove the needle. A small drop of fluid or blood is nothing to worry about. Recover the needle with the larger cap and then unscrew it to dispose of it safely, preferably in a sharp spin. Put the green lid back on the pen. As it contains medication, it must now be stored in the fridge. And that's it.